So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be doing a compilation video because there have been a lot of scandalous stories on the internet as of late. So on the docket tonight, we have JT from the rap group The City Girls showing her poom poom on national television at the 2022 Billboard Awards, her bandmate Young Miami arguing over Diddy, and Jania who is NBA Youngboy's baby mother and ex-girlfriend tattooing her boyfriend's name on her after doing this with several other men so the topics we have tonight are kind of ratchet but i'm here for it so let's get right into this video so the first story that i wanted to start off with is jania and this tattoo situation jania 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 how many times did I call your name? So the blog reported that Jania tattooed her boyfriend, Deontay Murray, who plays for the San Antonio Spurs, on her arm for the second time. Now, a red flag with this is that Jania has tattooed about maybe two, three, maybe five different other men's name on her body. And each time they break up, she gets it covered up. So she's out here looking like a second grade art project and hasn't learned her lesson. I really don't mean to be shady when I say that. I'm literally giving the harsh truth because all the random tattoos are, in my opinion, cheapening to the body. Ladies, when it comes to us getting tattoos, placement is so important because we can go from looking fine to looking real ghetto and trashy really fast. Outside of YouTube, I am the director to a modeling agency and I do take models with tattoos because I'm working with an urban market as of now. But when I see a model with distasteful tattoos that don't make any sense, I pass on the model and I have several times, just being real. Anyway, so she got the tattoo and people noticed and called her out for being dumb. And I mean, rightfully so she's definitely dumb for tattooing this man's name on her body for a second time after the relationship didn't work out the first time you would think someone who is sane cognizant and i don't know not in the seventh grade would know not to make the same mistakes twice so initially after being called out she started going off on people that were calling her out so someone tweeted one thing about jania she gonna post whoever she dealing with and tap their name and then jania comes back and says and one thing about y'all hoes y'all gonna worry about another b poom poom then she said says, if I'm dumb, let me be dumb. Oh, well, at least I don't have 20 baby daddies. And I was like, um, okay, insert Waka Flocka meme. Like, okay, like, what does that even mean? Because most of these rapper baby mamas really only have one baby daddy. Like, okay. I don't understand why these girls that are supposed to be the pinnacle of modern success for urban pop culture address every discrepancy they are a part of, overly share their life, and don't ignore ridicule. I do get addressing stuff and clearing stuff up, especially as a commentary YouTuber where all I have is my word. But these girls are supposed to be seen as the top tier role models that are put on a pedestal for other young women to follow. And I'm not gonna lie, this made me sad for her and all of the other girls who look up to her. So ironically, 72 hours later, Jania and Deontay break up. So allegedly there was a quote unquote fake post from Deontay's baby mother basically stating that he brings multiple women around their child. He begs to have his family back with her. He still wants to be with her, etc., etc. I know. And both Deontay and the baby mother have said that this post was fake. But to be honest, even if it is, it still makes Jania look dumb because tattoos are permanent. And this is another scandalous situation for her and this relationship. I will say this. I actually think Jania might be off and that is the nicest way to put it and I truly feel like she is a victim of low self-esteem and the pressure to be perfect and being a die-hard lover girl and when you have all of those three aspects coincide it creates stupid choices and impulsive decisions that only fulfill a temporary happiness that isn't fully authentic the happiness she felt in getting back with this man was only to hide the past failed relationships she's had with other men and try to rectify her reputation of never being with a quote-unquote good man I'm not saying that Deontay is a bad guy. I really don't know much about him, but I do think Jania has made herself look really easy. She doesn't set boundaries on how she goes about her relationships, and I think us regular people know too much about her dating life, which she should keep private, or at least wait it out to see if the person is serious. She then tweeted that she always gets the short end, so yep, once again, I'm dumb, and this time I lost all my ish, but I'll rebuy it, so I don't care. She then said that nakers are real life hoes, it's crazy. And then she said, I'm going to be single forever and I'm okay with that. I don't think anyone who has gone through heartbreak or bad dating partners should believe that they will be single forever. I know I tell myself that, but I stopped because I do want to speak positivity into my life and I know I deserve to be with someone who is worth my time and energy.
energy. So Jania should put out that positive affirmation, look at herself in the mirror, allow herself to heal, vet out the type of man who fits and exceeds all of her standards, and stop allowing herself to fall for the same old okie doke. She literally gives these rappers and athletes and industry men a blueprint of how not to treat her. And I wish she would just wake up and see that. Hopefully she doesn't tattoo anyone else's name because at this point, she just made herself look really stupid, defending her choice just for it to backfire and blow up in her face three days later. And hopefully she eventually finds the right man. Now my next story is Young Miami arguing with Diddy's side chick. I first wanted to start off by saying, I told you so, okay? I told y'all that this relationship or situationship was a horrible look for Young Miami and that I was not in favor of grown ass women sharing pickle and pickle juice because it's absurd and very high school to do so. I made a whole video about this months ago and I gave my two cents on how I think that it's very shallow to be publicly dealing with a taken man. So many of y'all really tried to justify her dating Diddy. Y'all said that I was against polygamous relationships and that I should let these girls do what they want. And he was also shacking up with Joy Chavis, who is future and Bow Wow's baby mother. And at the same time, he was dating Young Miami. I don't know if it's dating. I don't know what you want to call it. We're just going to call it dating. So it has come out that this past weekend, while Diddy was hosting the Billboard Awards, his side chick named Gina was also in attendance and she posted that baby daddy is hosting the billboards. And this sent Young Miami and the internet into a frenzy. Now, I will say this. I like the city girls. I like how unapologetically ghetto and ratchet they are. I like that they've been able to really be successful out of this where they may have not supposed to have been successful. But I also hold women accountable when certain things are just all around a bad look. Carisha no okay and because no okay no you are not young miami one of the top female rappers out right now by popularity and relevance and you're out here making yourself look like a bona fide dummy because dick too bomb because peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked seriously sis i think it's crazy how she came for gina saying that gina just wanted attention and that she was gonna give it to her carisha you're supposed to be better than this supposed to be way better than publicly addressing a side chick who was a side chick before you you were even entangled with Diddy. And quick question, how is Gina the side chick when Miami said, I am and that's why I F with your naker and ain't coming off of him. I don't care how many pics you post. And then she said, get that head, get that bread and leave. To me, y'all, it's giving bothered and pressed. I don't care what y'all say because if you're locked in with a man and he values you and respects you and you also have value and respect for yourself, you never address the side chick, okay? You never address anyone but the man. Even when she said, get that head bread and leave yes sis i'm with you but you do that privately okay like what happened to having shame for looking dumb for a man in my previous video i was saying that because these are grown people i don't care what they do but be hush about your business nobody needs to know that you are smashing diddy and getting paid like an escort that's for you to keep to yourself and keep collecting your coins i don't think i would ever open my mouth about something like this because it does nothing for women but here go this confused and dense generation talking about some yes sis get your money that's right sis Tell that girl you ain't coming off him. Like, shut up, okay? Shut it up, that's your mouth. Shut up, that's your mouth. Metronogi. I can't believe I'm even 24 years old with y'all because I swear this generation of women makes us look so damn brainless. This is not a flex, y'all. Being quiet about it is what you're supposed to do, and that's where both of these women failed. Gina is also stupid for thinking that she was gonna get points for being the forever side chick. Apparently, she has been around since Cassie and also has had multiple abortions by Diddy because he made her. So what do you get out of posting that your baby daddy who isn't your baby daddy was hosting the billboards when he's publicly holding hands with another woman grinding up on another woman kissing another woman on a boat and whatever else behind the scenes things that he does this silly goose tried it and failed young miami said something about how gina's effing a billionaire but still has lint in her carpet and here comes this dumb generation yes girl you cleared her you ate her up with that clap back corny like can i get a corny like no that joint was weak it had no correlation you should be dragging your damn self because as much as you're trying to salvage your top spot in Diddy's harem of women, you're blowing up his spot and soon he will drop you like it's nothing. Next thing you know, the next rap girl is in your spot. That's what happens when y'all let men have their way with you, Jones. Like, you're not running nothing. I would not feel any way about this relationship if they were quiet about it, but I know all of these girls want attention and they want to be seen as quote unquote that bitch. You want the fame, the looks, the rich boyfriend and husband, and I do too, sis. I'm not finna lie, but the difference is I don't want to look stupid. I refuse to argue with Nan girl about community service penis. That's corny and I truly
truly predict that Diddy will be dropping both of them before summer is over. Now, the last story on the docket is JT exposing her poom poom to national television at the same Billboard Awards we've discussed in story number two. I can't believe the city girls have been wilding out like this, like, damn, double homicide. But nonetheless, JT and Young Miami presented the award for top R&B artists, which, side note, I like Doja Cat's music, but that was supposed to go to Summer Walker. Anyway, they're presenting the award, and I thought both ladies looked really good. I love the dresses. They were definitely one of a kind, and the hair and makeup looked good, too. But the one thing that had everyone's attention was the fact that JT's kitty cat lip was hanging out, like, blatantly hanging out. Now, I can tell that JT was so nervous to speak. She was messing up her words. She didn't know what came next. She didn't know how to speak with a convincing voice. But I will say that she was a good sport about it, and she pretty much laughed it off. It was cringy and awkward, but the city girls do own who they are. But that kitty was talking. No pun intended. We saw that lip and it said what that kitty talk. English, Spanish, and French. And all languages in between. In all honesty, I see a lot of people saying that JT must have been so embarrassed by this wardrobe malfunction. And I'm sorry, but how does sis not know? Like, you didn't feel it? Like, woman to woman, you ain't feel that little air that was coming right there by the lips. You ain't feel it all out. You literally had a veggie, which is way more uncomfortable than a regular wedgie. Not saying that she did this, but I don't put anything past celebrities to stir up controversy. It's given 2004 Super Bowl Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake because you mean to tell me she couldn't just pull her dress down even just a little bit? In my poo shiesty voice, I ain't buying that. I would have had to have known that my dress rolled up and my poom poom was exposed. I mean, it's the city girls. Do you really think they care that y'all saw it? Probably not. Either way, I think she handled it well because I would have been mortified and embarrassed next time jt use hairspray to keep your dress from riding up or you know these are expensive garments so i know they make items to keep your dress from riding up the dress was already risque but she really risked it walking out there without a final wardrobe check i think her styling team should have made sure that she was appropriate and decent before walking out there jt probably pays them thousands of dollars and they didn't do their job like all y'all had to do was pull her dress down i don't know it could be a scandal that was intentional or a true accident hard to say when it comes to celebrities but i'm glad she was responded to it in a lighthearted way because I'm sure it happens to the best of them. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please number your responses, story one, story two, story three down below. I want to know what y'all have to say on all three topics. If you guys haven't already, make sure you stream my song Ballin'. It is out on all platforms. I will link it down below as well as the video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. They know I'm the queen, they cheering for me when y'all on stage is cricket. They know I get bread, they know I make dough, they know I be baking them biscuits. They know I got comments for days, I have no limit, I get the commission. Come on, come they know on. if they play with the queen of last face, they will see it's a mortician like I. Goddamn, uh -huh. close your diet, but I got him about to go ham. Uh -huh. Told you I'm a queen, better get the program, but uh -huh. he didn't get the picture, how to draw a diagram. If you grade me, I'm an A+. Plus. A I know I be popping, I see why they watching, I see why they fucking and suck bees. Cause with ease, I will bring heat, now you have to Yes, ma'am. Goddamn, man, me killing it wasn't an accident. Uh, so damn right, yeah. I